So when it comes to bathing your dog, I think one of the biggest areas that people let down in is no matter what product they use, they don't use it according to direction. So they either use it at a full concentrate, in which case they have a hard time getting the shampoo or the conditioner rinsed out of their dog if it doesn't say to be used at a full concentrate, or they dilute it far beyond what the directions say. And you're not going to get the results promised by any product if you're diluting it far beyond what it says. So here we have two of my go-to Plush Puppy products, the All Purpose Shampoo and the Natural Protein Silk Conditioner. So um, I tend to use an immersion blender when I mix my conditioner. I'm going to show you that in the next video. But both of these shampoos and conditioners say that they can be used at full strength um, on really dirty dogs, but most likely your dog isn't really dirty, or if it is, it just has a spot area, maybe around the ears if there was ear medication in there or something that they're really dirty. And then the dilution is recommended at 10 to one. So I've just put this piece of paper in here so it's easier to read this, but this little handy dandy measuring device actually just came with my immersion blender. And all I did was simply go over with a Sharpie, the increments here, uh, most things are diluted you know, one to 10 or one to something. So here simply that would be the one mark. And so you would put your shampoo up to that mark and then you would put the water all the way up to here and then you would mix completely. For So for shampoo, usually the water and you know, your hand or a spoon in there does a good job of mixing it up. And in our next video, I'm gonna show you how I use the immersion blender and make sure that the conditioner is all mixed up. All right, so for mixing conditioner, I find that I can never get it fully emulsified in the water, like thoroughly, thoroughly mixed in. There's always strands of it floating around, which means it's not gonna work as well on your dog. Um, so I picked up this little trick from a friend of mine about 15 years ago, and it works great. So again, what I've done is, and I'll just show you with the piece of white paper behind this here, is I use this cylinder. This actually came with this blender. This blender cost me 10 bucks at Walmart. Um, so it's been great. I just marked off the increments that were already on there with my Sharpie so that I can see them. It's 10 to one. So you can see the one part. I'm going to fill the rest with water. Obviously I would do this at a tap in the kennel, but I'm doing it here to show you on video. So then I'm just going to simply add the water up to the appropriate level. And no matter how much I try to mix that in, there's always just going to be strands of the conditioner written around. So all I do is I just take my immersion blender and I just put in there and I just pulse it a few times and one more time and then you can see just how that is now thoroughly all mixed in no strands of it floating around if you've ever had that problem you know what I'm talking about I don't go crazy with the immersion blender I don't want it super foamy and then I typically just use this to put it on my dog. If you wanted to put it in a squirt bottle, put it in an empty squirt bottle, but that's how to thoroughly mix your shampoo and conditioner properly according to the directions.